Hey guys, what's up? Ed Bessler here again. Today I want to talk to you about pops on your speakers when you turn off your PA system. That was a problem that happened to me after I insert a compressor into my rack and I didn't have this problem before and now like every time I turn off my system this huge pop sound comes into my speakers. I know it's not good for the speakers and might not be good for something else so I fix it in a very simple way that I want to show you today and I hope you enjoy it and I hope this is useful information for you and if you have the same problem that might be the solution as well. Let's watch. I'm going to explain why the pop happens. In your PA system before your amplifier, you normally have your signal processors responsible to deliver signals that will be amplified and then delivered to your speakers. In most of all electronic devices, you'll find a voltage transformer and a capacitor that, when turned on, will be charged, and in the same way, they will discharge when powered off. The discharge process generates a reverse current on the output of the device that can be seen as a signal for your amplifier. That's why the pop. In general, amplifiers have bigger capacitors that take longer to discharge, making the amplifier still operational for some time after you shut it off. The trick here is to add a delay on your signal processors so they will turn off after your rack and the reverse current you happened after your amplifier is already off. You're gonna need the power supply and the relay module that can be easily found ready on the market. Just to make sure that the relay input voltage is the same as the power supply output voltage and that the relay contact voltage and current are higher than the power required for the devices to be connected at it. This is the typical power conditioner high level schematic. After the plug, you have a fuse on the phase wire and then a main switch that will deliver voltage to the power outlets after it when it turns on. You may find the main switch just cutting the phase wire. So whatever I'll show here for the neutral wire can be just ignored if that's your case. What you have to do is to cut the wires going to the power outlet that you want to add a delay. Then you connect the neutral wire from before the switch. Then you connect your power supply to the phase and neutral after the switch. Then connect your relay module to the power supply. Don't forget to put the jumper from the positive to the input, otherwise the relay won't come on. Then you connect a phase wire from before the switch and after the fuse to a normal open relay contact. And then the other side of the contact will be connected to your now delayed powered outlet. When shut down, the capacitors on the power supply will keep the relay for some time still on, which guarantees the delay on the power outlet that's now connected to the relay. If you find that the delay is too short, you may add more capacitors to it. I did not find it necessary in my case. If cutting connections in your case, as it was in mine, means break traces on the circuit board, make sure you test for continuity after the cut. The multimeter should show open and not beeping.
that's it simple huh well I hopefully that works for you as well as did for me and you don't end up spending a lot of money uh, changing equipment or getting something more expensive and if you have any questions or if you want to change a little bit the circuit just let me know uh, put three comments in here and I might be able to help you all right if you like it don't forget to put like in here if you don't like it just don't do anything all right cool see you next time